Good afternoon, members of the St. Peter's Prep class of 2020. Welcome to our senior prayer service this 21st of May. While this is not your graduation ceremony, please allow this prayer service to recognize and celebrate this day, this day that has been on your calendar for some time. Months ago, when you might have thought of this day, you could not have possibly imagined that it would be in the middle of a time of loss, loss of loved ones, loss of freedom, loss of connections, and loss of rituals. I know that hurts, and I hurt with you as best as I can. But I know that your St. Peter's Prep experience will not be defined by this time of loss. In fact, I challenge us to look at loss in St. Peter's Prep in a different way today. The American author, Willa Cather writes, this is life, to lose oneself in something beautiful and great to lose oneself in something beautiful and great. And I hope over your four years here, you lost yourself in Hogan Hall and Cavan Point, in Latin declensions and polynomial equations, on Kairos or the Christmas concert, staying up until two for the all-nighter or going for two for the win. I hope you lost yourself in the Grad Grad, Jug, Milano's Pride and Glory, the eye patch of a marauder, and the hearts of marauders you call your best friends. I hope you lost yourself in friendship and in brotherhood. Something beautiful and great. Something that lasts a lifetime. Prep for life. I hope you enjoyed the video message from the class of 1958 this morning. What a tremendous representation of Prep for Life. These men graduated from our school 62 years ago. They are still best friends, they are still brothers, and they are proud to call you brothers. Their message and friendship is beautiful and great. I hope your message and friendship is similar in 2082. At the heart of what I think is beautiful and great is that crazy St. Peter's Prep magic. Probably said better, that crazy St. Peter's Prep love. That love, when needed, is strong enough to blast through any obstacle and gentle and humble enough to calm any storm. I know that you have felt that love over your four years here. Please thank your parents for that. Please thank your teachers and coaches and staff members for that. Thank them for that emotional investment they've made in you. I also know that you have shown this love over your four years here, and I thank you for that. Thank you for your leadership, and thank you for welcoming me this year. Your incredible welcome meant a lot to me, and I won't forget that. Whether you know it or not, when we look ahead, you are the banners that guide us. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to call you a graduate of St. Peter's Prep. I am proud to call you my prep brother. And I'm so proud to show these banners for the world to see. These banners hang is not just a celebration of your four years, they hang as a reminder of who we are and who we're going to be. Men, men foreign with others, men of humility and resilience, men full of love and full of God, men with hearts on fire filled with heroic actions and heroic virtues. I look forward to praying with you today. And as always, I love you. Let's go prep. Let us begin our prayer as all good things begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of Almighty God, the love of Christ, and the strength of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Ever watchful God, although we may be scattered in place, we are one in your love. Gather, gather us in that love, that in being loved by you, we may love our neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, 
to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I have learned from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father, will give you. This is my command. Love each other. The Gospel of the Lord. This Gospel is part of Jesus' goodbye speech to the Apostles. In it, he is trying to comfort the Apostles before he goes to the cross. Given this is Jesus' last teaching moment, it is important to listen to what he has to say and what he has to say about friendship and love. His last command to the Apostles is that they love one another, that they care for each other as Jesus himself has cared for them. Jesus now calls them friends because he has passed on to them all the Father has taught or told him. This should sound familiar. Over the past weeks we have discovered how important our friendships are. We have heard our teachers that they miss all of us and how they have missed each other. If anything, these last months have heightened our awareness of friendship and love. Jesus' command to love one another is alive and well in the class of 2020. Your friendship with yourself, with each other, and with your God, and with the poor, has been strengthened over the past four years at prep. You have laughed together, cried together, ate together, and done good work together. Through your service hours, you come to be friends with the poor. All this has strengthened the bonds of brotherhood you share. What you feel is what PrEP wanted to teach you, to love one another. As you have learned, love is a two-way relationship with the love of God, and it is the same with Him. God initiates the love relationship. As Jesus said, I have chosen you. And we are invited to respond in kind. This is the love you have been invited into and the love you have shared at PrEP. Now is the time to bring that love out into the world, a world that may not understand it or understand your brotherhood. Not only may the world not understand your love, it may actively oppose it. Stay strong in your love of God and your love for each other, and you will bear much fruit. You will challenge the world to love as you do, and as Jesus does, and your friends do. Jesus' final command to love one another is repeated at the end of the reading. It is that important that Jesus is repeating himself. The love prep has taught you is now repeated. Love and care for each other, no matter what the circumstances are. Love and forgive each other. Love and challenge each other to grow. Love and grow into the men prep knows that you are. As we celebrate the class of 2020, during this challenging times, let us turn to God with hope and confidence in His great mercy and His great love for all of us and all of our friends. For those who have supported the class of 2020 during our time at PrEP, especially for our families, friends, the faculty and staff, that they may be blessed for all they have done for us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who are sick, whether from COVID-19, chronic illness, or any other kind of affliction. Especially, we pray for all members of our PrEP community who are experiencing illnesses. May they experience the comfort and consolation of Jesus' healing presence in their lives. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the nurses, doctors, and medical professionals who work every day with energy, compassion, and resilience in these trying times. Especially, we pray for all members of our PrEP family who work on the front lines responding to the COVID-19 crisis. May God strengthen them in their ministry and keep them safe as they care for so many who are in need. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of the leaders of our church and world as they seek to inspire others and provide for the common good. 
May they be signs of encouragement and may they be inspired by God's wisdom to implement effective policies that respond to COVID-19. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the class of 2020, that they may use the gifts and talents they developed at PrEP for the greater honor and glory of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died with hope in the Lord's promise of eternal life, especially for those who passed away from the coronavirus and for all of the deceased family members of the class of 2020, may they now rest in the peaceful and loving embrace of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, let us pause for a moment in silence to join together all of our prayers and intentions and together lift up our needs to God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we know that you hear our prayers and desire only good for us. Help us to be open to the Spirit who speaks to us through the many events of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we have a short video showing all the joys of the class of 2020.
Let us pray. Mighty God, your love transcends all time and place. Join us all now in the love that is empowered by the gifts that you have given us, that we may strengthen us to go forth to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads for our final blessing. Parents, if you're here, please put your hands upon the shoulders of your son. May God give you a virtuous heart, so that in times of trial you may be armed with treasures you can rely on. Amen. Amen. May God give you faith, so that in leaving prep you remember the, with conviction who made you and for what purpose. Amen. Amen. May God give you peace, a deep and lasting peace that takes hold of your heart and reminds you of the height and depth of God's love for you. Amen. Amen. And in the efforts to love and serve all people, may God forgive you, forever light your way. May Almighty God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen.
In a moment, I will have the privilege to thank many people who have made this prayer service possible, but I'd ask your indulgence and patience for a few final words from me. Certainly, we wish that this day could have been different, that we could have been celebrating instead the 142nd commencement exercises of St. Peter's Prep, but that is not possible. However, my fellow Prep alumni of the class of 2020 I hope that today nonetheless has been an opportunity to reflect on your time as PrEP students and you have given some thought to how you and PrEP have changed over the past four years. Your physical growth and development from freshman year to senior year is nothing less than remarkable. But other changes are less obvious to an outsider. The growth that came from time spent on an Ignite retreat or a service experience on Kairos, clubs and teams and of course, in your classes. I hope that the profile of the graduate at graduation, the grad at grad, is not just a list of cliches, but rather a reality backed by the experiences of you and your classmates and the members of the faculty and staff who have shared this journey with you. What is important is what each of you did with the opportunities offered to you over the past four years. How have you internalized and made your own the mission of PrEP and of Jesuit education. The tenets of the grad at grad, mission statements, the philosophy and goals, they are all sim simply words on a page, if not adopted and adapted to your own life. How have you lived them out over the past four years? How have you acted and reacted when faced with challenge, opportunity, failure, and even success? When Father Greg Boyle of Homeboy Industries delivered the Arupe Lecture Series keynote address several years ago, he said something that resonated very strongly with many of us here at PrEP, that PrEP is not a place you go to, but rather a place you come from, formed by the experiences you had during the time that you were a student here. My sincere hope for you, men of the PrEP class of 2020, is that every person you meet in the future can walk away from their time with you and know that you not only have a PrEP diploma, but also a PrEP education. And that will be the true measure of what you received here. To close, I would like to thank the many people who have made this prayer service possible. Ms. Emily Fensick and the members of Vox, the Office of Campus Ministry, especially Mr. Kieran Halloran, Father Bob O'Hare, our presider, our readers, Mr. James Conti, Mr. Aidan Guarnuccio, and Mr. Remy Pastoric, Mr. Mike Duran, our director of communications, Ms. Trish Fitzpatrick, and the volunteers who delivered the graduation signs and diplomas last week, our families for sending in so many pictures for today's service, and finally, prep alumni of the class of 2020. Thank you for these past four years. The gifts you have given, we shall never forget. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you now and in the days ahead. Amen.